here we see this is a separator ultrasound and uh, this is the te te right testis. It measures 4.2 centimeters into 1.56 millimeters. This is the left testis. It measures 4.7 centimeters into 2.3 centimeters with fluid. You see this fluid surrounding the testes and this is the fluid in the sacrotal sac. Here again this is the fluid in the sacrotal sac. This is right testis. This is left testis and this is the sacrotal wall. This is the sacrotal wall. This is the longitudinal section. This is transverse. <coughs> this is also say uh, I was seeing both of them. <coughs> there is a massive uh, hydronephrosis with Here you see there are bubbles permeating into the scrotal sac. These are the bubbles. These are the bubbles with dirty shadow. This is the fluid within the scrotal sac. <coughs> All this black area is the fluid. Now this is the shadow of the testes. This is the scrotal wall and in So this is the case of uh, massive and speculative. This is the case of uh, the massive hydronephrosis or elephantiasis testes. Uh, elephantiasis scrotal sac. <coughs> with scrotal hernia as bubbles are protruding into it and you can see the movement of bubble within the fluid. Here you see these are the bubbles and their movement can be seen, their shadow is different and this is the scrotal sac. And the herniation is seen on both sides. This is now the left side where I am. <coughs> this is all fluid in this total sex. This is one of the testes in longitudinal section. This is the testes, <coughs> this area. This is the testes. This is. is the fluid in the within the subrotal sac this is the hydrocele massive hydrocele and here you can see the bowels in entering into the subrotal sac from the inguinal region. Here I am in the inguinal region are bubbles. So this is a case of these are bubbles. This is total fluid. This is total wall. And uh, this is the testis pushed down with the posterior wall 
this is the minor region with uh, bubbles herniating into it. So this is the case of massive hydrocele with hernia, scrotal hernia. The fluid is clear. There is no internal hypose, there are no septals, no calcifications. <coughs> and the wall is thick. See, this is it, the wall thickness. Testes are normal in a sense that uh, there is no evidence of any focalium, no calcification, no calcification. Size is relatively normal. There are no calcifications seen within the testes as well. No focalium. <coughs> so this is the study of massive hydrocele with testes displaced, pushed to the posterior wall along with suprotal hernia as bowels are seen entering the uh, the bubbles are seen, these are bubbles, and you can see bubbles entering this fluid in the suprotal supra sac. This is called elephantiasis of the <coughs> suprotal sac as well. Right, <coughs> love. This is called the elephantiasis of the suprotal sac as well.